Yeah, it's true. Israel's the Jewish state, but there's millions of people there that aren't Jewish and they fight in the army too. Here's a homecoming you don't want to miss. Speaking of people who seem to think that Israel is all Jewish, non-Arab, non-black, let me show you something. When the soldiers come back from the war in Israel, it only takes a couple hours or less to get home. Their families have parties for them, except it's not the traditional Jewish Israeli family. These are Christian Arab Druze which are descended from Muslims, but it's a little different religion. I want you to see how they greet their warrior son coming in the door. And I want you to look in the background at one of the relatives who is dancing with a crucifix, thanking God for protecting his son fighting in Gaza. <laughs> It goes on for another minute. I guess you get the idea. They're playing Israeli music. You can see the mom with the traditional Arabic head covering. They're not Jews. And if you notice, the mother is so happy that her son is alive and home, she won't stop hugging and kissing him. In Israel, the mothers celebrate the life of their children. In Gaza, the party would have been only if he was killed and they would have celebrated that he was serving God their God, Allah, in killing Jews. That is not a Jewish Israeli family. That's an Arabic Christian family in Israel. Yep, and they're happy that their son returned home, their family member returned home. And no one wants to send their any one of their families off to war, right? No one with rational thinking. And you're right, Barry, they are all about death. They are about death. I actually went, to, um, so I'm here in Texas and I actually went to one of these mosques and just listening to them. And they will tell you that death is sweeter than honey. Right. All right so the, the headdress on their forehead, Hamas says to the death. Yeah. So they're all about death. They think, uh, they think existence begins at death. Right. Happiness begins at death. 
basically what we need to understand is within Israel, there are a tremendous number of Christians, 20% of the population, according to some estimates, um, that believe in a different religion, but are extremely proud to be Israeli. And in terms of what that means in the society, quite simply, is that is fully integration. It's a full integration of black, white, Christian, Druze, Buddhist, Muslim, you name it. It doesn't make it into the mainstream media, does yeah. it, Will? No, it, it does not make it there. And the reason why I was comparing them to the Republican Party, because the Republican Party, they're terrible with their messaging as well. The, the, the left, they're quick to say that the Republican Party is racist. All the Republican Party needs to do, Barry, they should do a video as well saying, well, you know what? The Republican Party was created so black people can have representation. And they don't let that information out. The first black people that were part of this federal government, they were senators in the Republican Party, multiple senators in the Republican Party. And for some unknown reason, the Republican Party has a terrible way on getting that information out. It's like they it's like they want to keep it suppressed. And, you know, and another thing, well, I you know there, why it's a it's a it's a really bad story for them. Right. For the Republicans? No, no, no. For the Democrats, it's a really yes. bad story. So what it I'm is. saying is the Democrats are never going to promote it, but the Democrats control mainstream media. That's why that the story is not getting out. That is true. The government state media, but even over on some of the so-called conservative media outlets, some of the major ones, they won't even talk about it either. They won't even talk about it. And But then, then again, Barry, they go, well, the party switch, right? They go to the whole thing with the party switch. It's like saying Israel is only one nationality. That would be saying that United States of America is only one nationality. And that's not the case. It's not true. But if you might have people in, in you know, different countries in Africa trying to say, oh, America's not nothing but white people. And they only have a few black people here and there. And it wouldn't be true. And that's exactly the same thing that they're doing in Israel. They're trying to convince everybody that it's only Jewish white people in Israel and you're a Christian. You're not even allowed. And some even try to suggest that in Israel that they're persecuting Jewish. Jewish people are persecuting Christians the same way Muslims do. Even worse, which, again, is not true, is 100 percent not true. But yet they keep spewing the same thing out there. They keep saying the same lies, trying to convince people to believe it. And Barry, really quick, I saw this video on X earlier today, and I and I started to to get it and maybe send it to you, but it was it's just stupid. I'll just figure I'd just talk about it. There's this guy doing a podcast, and he's talking about you know how you talked about the uh the apartheid, right? right. He was talking about the river to the sea. He said, you know what that actually means. Oh, the river I'm dying to, the to hear sea, this. The, actually, what the river to the sea actually means, Barry, and this is what he was saying. The river to the sea actually only means that the Palestinian people, they just want equal rights. They just want to live in harmony, right? They just want to get along. There's, there's, there's no eradication of anybody. They just want a single state, a single Palestinian state and everybody be equal and live free. <laughs> and I did, I was like, and I'm like, this dude is blatantly lying, trying to convince well, he knows everybody. He, and, and then he knows he's lying. Yes. But he's not trying to tell the truth. He's trying to tell the narrative. And I'm, this is so bizarre. And then you have the it, other yeah, side. All, it, it's it's insane. It really is. Let's let's call it for what it is. It's anti-life, pro-death. Yes. How do you make peace with someone who wants everybody dead? This is like asking the Democrat Party in the United States of America to make peace with the unborn child. <laughs> they like death.